हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड द वेरियस बॉडी ऑर्गन्स इन्वॉल्व इन द डाइजेशन प्रोसेस नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दिस डाइजेस्टिव ऑर्गन्स इन डिटेल सो द फर्स्ट वन इज माउथ वी नो दैट डाइजेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अवर माउथ the food that we eat we place it into our mouth food is taken into our mouth and we know that there are teeth present in our mouth the teeth chew and grind the food and convert it into small food particles and after chewing the food gets mixed with the saliva the small particles of food gets mixed with the saliva now what is saliva saliva is a liquid which is produced by the salivary glands present in our mouth saliva is secreted or released or produced by the three pairs of glands called salivary glands what are glands these are the smaller parts of our body which release chemical substances for performing specific functions in our body they are located at the bottom and sides of our mouth so this saliva helps in the digestion of starch starch is a insoluble sugar which gets converted into soluble sugar called glucose soluble sugar is also known as glucose the simple form of sugar so saliva helps in the digestion of starch and converts it into soluble sugar now next one is bread tastes sweet on chewing why bread tastes sweet on chewing because saliva changes insoluble starch in the food into soluble sugars which get mixed with the liquid present in the body that are known as soluble sugars so that is why starchy food like bread and rice these are the starchy foods because they contain starch they taste sweeter after we chew them next one is food pipe so we have learned about food pipe what is food pipe it is also known as esophagus and it is about 8 to 10 inches long or in centimeters it is about 25 cm long in a grown up person or in an adult person food passes through this long tube to reach the stomach as we have learned yesterday that the food from our mouth passes through the food pipe which is also known as esophagus and reaches to the stomach and it is about 25 cm long in adults or we can say that it is 8 to 10 inches long in inches so next one is coughing removes food from wind pipe now there are two pipes which is Uh, first one is the food pipe and second one is the wind pipe the wind pipe and food pipe are very close to each other food pipe is just behind the wind pipe if by chance any food particle moves into the wind pipe there is a strong cough to remove the food from the wind pipe as we know that food moves from our mouth to the food pipe but food pipe is just behind the wind pipe here is wind pipe also so if by chance any time the food gets stuck between the wind pipe then there will be a very strong coughing there will be very strong cough which removes the food from the wind pipe next one is stomach so we have already discussed about stomach what is stomach it is a hollow muscular bag which can stretch to store the food the walls of the stomach get stretch to store the food and the walls of the stomach release or secrete digestive juices called gastric juices that are known as gastric juices these juices in the stomach break down the proteins in the food so these help in the digestion of proteins that we get from the food next one is wounds in stomach so why there are wounds in stomach that are known as ulcers if you don't eat food the acid present in stomach starts eating the cells of stomach causing wounds known as ulcers 
अगर हम खाना नहीं खाएंगे तो जो एसिड स्टमक में प्रेजेंट होगा वो क्या करेगा जो हमारे स्टमक के सेल्स होंगे उनको ही खाना शुरू कर देगा जिसकी वजह से क्या हो जाएगा पेट में जख्म हो जाएंगे जिनको हम क्या बोलेंगे वाउंड एंड देट आर ऑल्सो नोन एज अल्सर द वाउंड इन द स्टमक आर नोन एज अल्सर द नेक्स्ट वन इज स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन सो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट ऑर्गन ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी यू कैन सी दिस इज अ ट्यूब अ लॉन्ग ट्यूब अ लॉन्ग क्वाइल्ड ट्यूब क्वाइल्ड मीन्स इन द शेप ऑफ अ राउंड राउंड नंबर ऑफ राउंड मीन्स इस तरह से एक दूसरे के ऊपर लिपटी हुई है ये सो दैट इज नोन एज अ लॉन्ग क्वाइल्ड ट्यूब विच इज द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन सो फ्रॉम द स्टमक द फूड इज पुस्ट इन टू अ लॉन्ग क्वाइल ट्यूब कॉल्ड द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन आफ्टर द स्टमक फूड एंटर्स इन टू द लॉन्ग क्वाइल्ड ट्यूब कॉल्ड द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज द लॉन्गेस्ट ऑर्गन ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी इट इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी फीट लॉन्ग द थ्री जूसेस द इंटेस्टिनल जूस बायल जूस एंड द पेनक्रिएटिक जूस आर सीक्रेटेड इन टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एज वी हैव लर्न ये स्टडी एंड दीज जूसेस हेल्प टू कम्प्लीट द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन द डाइजेस्टेड फूड इज ऑब्जॉर्व बाय द ब्लड वेसल्स विच कैरी न्यूट्रिय टू ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी द कम्प्लीट डाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस हेयर इन द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एंड द न्यूट्रिय फ्रॉम द फूड गेट ऑब्जॉर्व बाय द ब्लड वेसल्स एंड देन पास टू द all parts of the body now next one is large intestine the function of large intestine is to absorb water and salts from the food that we eat the large intestine is about 1.5 meters long and the undigested food passes from the small intestine into this large intestine and the extra water is absorbed from the undigested food and then carry it to the kidneys by the blood vessels blood vessels are the blood carriers now next is food present in large intestine so what type of food is present in large intestine it consists mainly of roughage and water mainly roughage and water are present in this large intestine if your roughage intake is less and it can cause constipation and stomach ache अगर आपके खाने में रफेज कम होता है अगर आप रफेज कम ले रहे हो तो इसकी वजह से आपको कॉन्स्टिपेशन या कब्ज हो सकती है और पेट में दर्द हो सकता है नेक्स्ट वन इज एनस सो वट इज एनस एज वी हैव लर्न ये स्टडी एनस इज द ओपनिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन थ्रू विच सॉलिड वेस्ट इज थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द बॉडी हेयर इज अ ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग tube that is known as rectum and after that at the end of this large intestine there is anus anus is the small opening through which solid waste is thrown out of the body thank you